द क्वेश्चन सेज इन द बैलेंस्ड केमिकल रिएक्शन दिस इज अनबैलेंस्ड केमिकल रिएक्शन इन विच वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट ए बी सी एंड डी रेस्पेक्टिवली सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी कैन बैलेंस दिस इक्वेशन एंड देन वी कैन फाइंड आउट द कोफिशियंट ओके लेट्स राइट डाउन द इक्वेशन फर्स्ट वी हैव आयोडेट आयन इज देयर आई ओ थ्री माइनस दैन प्लस आयोडाइड आयन इज देयर एच प्लस आयन मीन्स इक्वेशन इज बैलेंस्ड इन एसिडिक मीडियम वी डू नॉट इंक्लूड एच प्लस आयन इन द स्टार्ट लेटर ऑन वी कैन इंक्लूड ओके अदर साइड वी हैव वाटर मालिक्यूल वाटर मालिक्यूल इज वाट सालवेंट वी कैन इंक्लूड लेटर ऑन वाइल बैलेंसिंग ऑक्सीजन एंड हाइड्रोजन एंड देन वी हैव आई टू इज देयर दिस इज द इक्वेशन वी गेट ओके दिस एच प्लस एंड एच टू वी रिमूव्ड Later on, we can include when we balance number of oxygen as well as hydrogen. This is the actual equation we have. Okay. Now we write down the oxidation number of elements on both side of the equation. Three oxygen, three two just six. Each oxygen is what minus two. Minus one is there, so it will be present in plus five oxidation numbers. This is mono dentate ion is there. Okay, mono atomic ion is there. and the charge of mono atomic ion is equal to its oxidation number minus 1 is there this is a neutral molecule molecule made up of same type of atoms will have zero oxidation numbers written in redox reaction we have learned increase in oxidation numbers increase in oxidation number is always oxidation reaction and decrease in oxidation number is always reduction reaction very interesting information okay we can compare the oxidation number iodine to iodine you can see plus 5 to 0 decrease in oxidation number is what reduction reaction okay now iodide ion to iodine minus 1 to 0 increase in oxidation number is always oxidation we got oxidation as well as reduction reaction now we can write these half oxidation and reduction reaction separately and we can balance let's move on then we have iodate ion is there we have iodate ion this is what i o3 it is minus other side we have i2 is there okay always balance the number of atoms before balancing the charge how many iodine two this side only one to multiplied by two is there and each iodine is what present in plus 5 oxidation numbers if one iodine is plus 5 then two iodine multiplied by two is equal to plus 10 very simple this side it is present in zero okay zero is there You can see plus 10 to 0 decrease in oxidation number, reduction reaction, and in reduction reaction always keep in mind we always add electrons on the left side of the equation to balance the charge. Okay, charge is balanced. 10 minus 0 is equal to 10. We added electrons. 10 electrons. How many? 10 electrons on the left side of the equation because it is a reduction reaction. Now we move on to the second half equation. Second is your minus I. Other side it is your I two is there. Balance the number of atoms before balancing the charge. Multiplied by two. One iodine is your minus one. Then two iodine will be equal to your minus two. This is your zero. Okay. Now minus two to zero. This is your oxidation. So find the difference in oxidation number. In difference in oxidation number, we always subtract small value from the large value. Okay, a small value is what minus two, large value is what zero. So we can mention zero minus minus two is equal to plus two is there. Okay, and since this is what oxidation reaction, in oxidation reaction we always add electrons on the right side of the equation. Okay, now we can remove this uh, oxidation number. It is not required. Okay, it is uh, not required. Let me remove it. Okay, remove it because we balance the charge. So we have balanced the charge. So I remove this information. This is what we have. Uh, iodide ion is there. Okay. In the first half equation, we can balance the number of uh, oxygen also. And keep in mind, in the equation, it was H plus ion means equation is to be balanced in acidic medium. Okay. Very interesting. Calculate the number of oxygen. Three to just six. How many oxygen? Six oxygen. To balance the number of oxygen, we take help of water molecule. Okay, equal to the number of oxygen, we attach water molecule on other side. Six oxygen, I attached six water molecule. But now balance hydrogen. Six to just twelve. Twelve hydrogens are there. So on the left side, I can I can attach twelve hydrogen. H plus ion are there. Okay, equation is balanced. Now we can add both half equation. Before by adding both half equation, we can balance the number of electrons. You can see, you can see in the second half equation, two electrons are there. In the first uh, first half equation, ten uh, electrons are there. 
So you can balance the number of electrons. Then we can multiply the second half equation by 5. Okay? Multiply. So you need some more space. So you can see we have a 5 to the 10. 10 iodide ion is there. Okay? Other side 5 iodine molecules and 5 to the 10 electrons are there. We can write this equation also down. So this is what the 12 by H plus. Then we 10 electron, okay, and then this two iodate ion are there, IO3 minus. Other side we have a I2 and then this six water molecule is there. Okay, guys. 10 electron, 10 electron cancel out. Okay. 12 by H plus, let me write 12 by H plus plus. Then we have 10 iodide ion is there and plus two iodate ion is there. Other side. It will be 6, uh, I2 will be there. And this is your 6 uh, water molecule is there. Because 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. But you can see it is 12, 10, 2, 6 and 6. We can divide these all the coefficient by the smallest value. By 2. So you can divide this equation by 2. So what do we get exactly? 2, 6 is 12, 6 H plus. Then 2, 5 is 10, 5 I minus. 2 only iodate ion other side 3 I2 is there and plus and 3 water molecule is there okay this is the balanced equation okay this is the balanced equation we have now we can go for the equation you can see first it is talking about iodide ion then H plus ion then water molecule then iodine molecule is there so why the iodide ion this is iodine ion 5, then uh, H plus ion 6, then water molecule 3, then iodine also 3. So the ratio which we are getting that is 5, 6, 3, no sorry, 3 and 3, they are same only. The 5, sorry, it is 5, we got 5, 6, 3 and 3 is there. Now we can go for the option. Why that option exactly? Okay, so option we have that is 5633. Three. Option D is correct. Very interesting equation.